Ah, no contact. It always comes back to no contact during a breakup. So today, even though I've done like a billion videos on no contact, I want to maybe get a little bit deeper today and just explain the intentions behind no contact because I think a lot of people get this wrong. And if we get the intention wrong, then maybe we don't do no contact correctly. Maybe we weaponize it. Maybe we use it for manipulation and we don't get where we want to be. But before I get into that, welcome back to The Love Fix. As always, it's Nick doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible with compassion but no bullshit. If today's video is not enough, you know what you can do. You can reach out to me for a one-to-one -one coaching session at thelovefix20 at gmail.com. My details are below in the description. And guys, if you like this, hit like, hit subscribe, you know the rest. Let's get into it. So why no contact after you've been dumped? Why does everybody recommend, hey, do not contact that person that dumped you? And it's a good question. It's counterintuitive. We are taught in life that we must do things to get things. If we want a good job, we need good grades. If we want a chocolate bar from our parents, we must behave well and so on. So with no contact, you're now being told, hey, do nothing to get this thing. And it's very counterintuitive. It's going through every natural instinct in your body. And it's just like with a pilot trying to save an airplane that's going into an aerodynamic stall. The human instinct is when a plane is dropping out of the sky it is to pull up. But the pilots are actually trained to push the nose down to gain airspeed to keep the plane flying. So just like that, no contact goes against every natural instinct that we actually have. And this is where problems can occur. So I don't want you to think no contact as a way to get your ex back or something to do. Rather, I want you to think it think of it as a mindset. Uh, a philosophy, a, uh, a set of rules to live by. Because a lot of people have the intentions of, if I go no contact for 30 days, the fade and effect bias will kick in and then my ex will start reaching out. And guys, let me tell you something, nine times out of 10, that never happens. So don't place your bets there. I want you to think of no contact as a response to your ex as being dumped. And I want you to think of it as, okay, you've dumped me and that sucks balls. I do not agree with your decision, but I accept it. As a result of that acceptance, you no longer have access to me. Now, don't say that to your ex guys. I'm just saying this is the mindset you need to have. You no longer have access. And by that, I'm going to follow a set of rules that will help me get me back, that will help me get through this very difficult time. So my intention of no contact is to give us enough time and enough space where we have no contact with each other outside of settling bills, talking about the kids or just business in general. And that will help facilitate the moving on process of this very difficult time. Now, the side effect of that, a possible side effect of that, is that given enough time, given enough space, given enough reflection, and just a, a general break and an emotional recharge, a reconciliation may happen. That can be the happy side effect of that. But the true power of no contact, the true power of no contact being explained is what you can do for you. Because no contact is the mature response. And to be honest, guys, it's the only viable response that you have to a decision that was never within your control. And you have to understand that anyone can end any relationship at any time for any reason. And you always must keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're dating someone. Whenever you're with someone, it can happen at any time. I've had clients that have been married 30, 40 years and they're getting divorced. It happens. 
So that is why low contact is a potent tool. However, that tool can be misused and abused and, and I've spoken to many of you and I know many of you have this in the back of your mind because guys, I went through this and I had it in the back of my mind. If I go no contact just one more day, they'll reach out. If I show them how determined I am to stay no contact, they will reach out. If I show them how strong I am, they will reach out. If I show them that I can out no contact them, they will start to miss me. Now, guys, I can't stop you from thinking those things and I, I won't even encourage you to try. What I would encourage you to try is that just like meditation, when a stray thought enters into your head when you're meditating is to acknowledge the thought, observe it and let it pass through straight back out and get back to center, get back to your focus. And your focus should be no contact is for me. It is my response to their decision of dumping me. It is my decision to give this time to me. It is my decision, it is my choice, it is my opportunity to use this time to level up, to be better, to work on the things that they dumped me for. To work on the things that I know I need to be better at. To go and do things that I wasn't able to do because I was too busy with work, business, my relationship, my marriage, my kids. No contacts. The best way to explain no contact is it's an opportunity for you to have a rebirth, for you to be better, for you to level up. That's the best way to view no contact. And I know, guys, I know you come into this channel because you want to find out how to get your ex back. And there's plenty of videos on that from other channels on this channel. And there's a whole playlist on my channel on how to get your ex back or the best way, the best practices to get your ex back. So go and check that out if you need to. But guys, I don't know if they will. I will never ever say that your ex will come back. I will never ever say, oh, take this quiz and you've got an 80% chance of getting them back. Bullshit. I don't know. And if anyone gives you a percentage of the likelihood of your ex coming back, then they are lying. Now, what I can do, I can give you a percentage of, of how many exes have come back in general based on my experience and based on some statistical analysis. And, so, and it's, in, it's in the area of 50 to 60% that they either reach out and if they do reach out, the next step is a reconciliation. Now, whether that reconciliation is successful is another thing. In fact, most reconciliations fail just like most relationships fail. So this is why you must use no contact as a mature response to that thing that has happened to you. So what are, the, what are, what are some other examples we can use that is a mature response. You're being fired or made redundant at your job because the company can no longer afford to pay you. Now, there's two responses you can have. You can lose your shit, scream and shout about something that is beyond your control, or you accept the decision is beyond your control. You thank them for the time. You go home. You do your crying. You wake up the next morning and you start looking for another job. And it's the same with no contact. I'm not saying you should wake up tomorrow and start looking for a new relationship. No, but you should start looking for a new life. You should start looking for what life looks like without your ex. For how great it can be without your ex. How better it can be without your ex. The freedom you have without your ex. That's what you should be doing. So, I say this. No contact will always work. It is a period of time where you and your ex have absolute no contact until you get over this. Or they reach out and ask for a reconciliation. That's no contact. Do not weaponize it. It will fail if you do. Do not use it as a manipulation tactic because only dickheads and assholes use manipulation to get someone back. And guys, 
manipulating someone back to you is a form of negotiated desire. You cannot negotiate desire. You cannot out logic feelings. So your only response to your ex's decision to break up with you is to accept it. You let them be. And as I've said before, we all make our own hell. Wish them well with theirs and let them think happy, happy thoughts forever. That's all I've got for today. I hope this has been helpful. If you like the video, please hit like, hit subscribe. And if you need my help, you can reach out to me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com for a one-to-one -one coaching session. As always, you're enough. You're doing fine. You will be okay. You have meaning. You do exist and you matter. I'll see you on the other side.